people this is day 9th and in this day 9 we are going to talk about another important macromolecule probably the most important that is dna what are the types of dna uh, you probably know there are a dna b dna and z dna so what are those and we'll see some properties of them so we have a dna we have b dna and we have z dna now we'll be talking about the differences so a dna has a helical structure that is a right handed okay which is uh, something that is there a dna is not normal dna form that is visible that is b dna so a and z dna is not uh, seen always so a dna is right handed base pair parameters the base pairs are short and wide major groove width is very narrow and minor group is wide so the minor group is wide and major group is very narrow that is the structure of a dna now next is b dna the helical structure is again right handed uh, which is the type of DNA that uh, is existing predominantly uh, on earth. Then base pair parameters, regular parameters and standard parameters. It's not short, it's not wide. So in case of ADN, you know, it's very short. But here the base parameters, that is the distance between the bases and everything are regular and standard. Next is the major groove width. Major groove is wide and the minor group is narrow. So the reverse to that of ADNA. In ADNA, the major group is narrow, minor group is wide. But in BDNA, major group is wide, minor group is narrow. That's why the minor, it's called minor because it's narrower. Then ZDNA, left-handed, the only DNA type which is left-handed is ZDNA. And the base pair parameters, irregular. There's no proper regularity in base parameters. They're stretched, not condensed, but stretched. Okay. Uh, in case of ADNA, it's short, but in case of ZDNA, stretched. Then comes the major groove width, narrow width of major uh, groove, and minor group is wide. So it's a similarity between ZDNA and ADNA. Both of them has a narrow major group and a broader, wider minor group. Uh, while in case of BDNA, the major group is wide and the minor group is narrow. So if you remember this. Now, if you visualize this three structures, B DNA is somewhat in the middle, A DNA is shrinked, it's like dwarf, and Z DNA is something stretchy. So, this is a structure that you can remember, print in your mind in order to differentiate between three types of DNA. I believe you have a clear idea about it. So watch this whole series of mind map and it's our journey of 365 days. One mind map every single day for a year. And I bet you that you're going to come up as a better source of knowledge for the field of biological sciences after this one year of study. So continue with this series because it's going to provide you benefit for CSIR net, get LS, get biotechnology, ICMR, JRF, uh, the Q8 PG, uh, BHU JNU examination and all the other institutional PhD entrance examination as well. So if you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future. All the very best for future career.